ingredients. More ingredients. Food. Other accessories. Food. Looking for a weapons. Uh. Yes, I've seriously just bought those. Welcome back one and all to Trails of Cold Steel 2. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time we found Machias hiding out in a windmill. And now we got side quests to do, kind of like the old field studies from the first game. Preacher Man, hello. Oh, hello there. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? The market manager mentioned that the church has been lacking in medicinal herbs lately. We'd like to see if we can help out in any way. Healing herbs. Okay. The market. Hell, I might have some. In particular, healing herbs. Yeah. Lunaria Nature Park. Okay, to the park. Western exit. Machius got a level in that. Always good to see. Wrong button. A little further up.
Good to see you again, Johnson. Oh, I remember you. Weren't you one of the students who helped me resolve the thefts in the Grand Market earlier in the year? That's right. I'm glad to see you ended up being able to get back to your job. Thanks. Looking back, I'm pretty ashamed of how I was behaving at the time. But thanks to the market manager putting in a good word for me, I was able to get back to my old way of life. Or, well, I got my job back. But the park itself has been dead quiet ever since the war broke out. But the job actually involves these days is going in for repairs. Sorry to hear that. For Johnson, anyway. It's good for us seeing that it lowers the chance of Alamar's getting found. True enough. We should be okay for a while. But there's no guarantee that'll be the case forever. Indeed, we can't afford to leave him there longer than we need to. Okay, yeah, they're in there. Great. So, in the park I go. Oh, they're right there. In front of me. Let's get a heal real quick. I can synthesize stuff here, that's cool. But only very basic stuff. I can upgrade slots. Interesting. Cool. Good to know. Oh God! We're planning these. to take that monster, aren't we? Yes, unfortunately, it's in the way. Watch out. My turn. Marcus, activate. Right. Marcus, activate. Sure thing. Yeah, those things can daze you very easily. Let's move. Ha! Oh right, the higher elements are in effect here. Take this. I'm up. Try this. Fire. Here I go. Sit. It's my turn. Ah! And that's why I hate these Ready things. Leave this to me. Eat that. I'm up. Whew. That's that. Yeah, the higher elements are in play here. Forgot about that. Right. <laughs> Prince Charming. Let's go ahead and return to Keldic. We got what we came for. There's... Uh, how can I put this? Implications of Machias having... 
of Machias being gay and having feelings for Eusis, although they're just implications. And it was only implied in the little joke comic in the Trails of Cold Steel 1 book. Or, can you know, like, remember when games had books? Booklets to guide you through things? Yeah, it's, again, it's implied, but I don't know if it's, I don't know if it is confirmed as of yet. It is kind of funny, the little comic, because they're little chibi art styles. They honestly look like meme comics, and I kind of like that. Okay. Back to the windmill. So out the eastern Celtic Highway to the windmill. Hey kid. Okay. Enemy advantage. Are you serious right now? Tobal, get it together. It's my turn. That's not the link I wanted. I'm up. My turn. That's better. Okay, it's safe for now. We still got some time until the call from Elliot and Fee come in. Well, let's wait. Not really a coffee person. Milk is still bad for cats. Testing, beginning periodic update. Hi, Elliot. This is Elliot. Do you read me, Machias? This is Machias. Yeah, the signal's perfectly clear. Fee's nearby too, right? How's everything on your end? We've surveyed the area around the Twin Dragons Bridge as best we could. As we expected, their defense is airtight. To pass through, you need a permit from either the Kreutzen Provincial Army or the Noble Alliance. Civilians and merchants don't stand a chance right now. This isn't going to be easy, no matter how you slice it. Alright then. Sounds like we'll need to devise a plan. Oh, and uh, by the way, I have some good news for the two of you. Huh? Hmm? Can you hear me, you two? <gasps> it, it can't be. Is that you, Reen? Is that really you? You're not pulling our leg, are you, Machias? Ouch. Not that much of a jerk. <laughs> nope. It's really me. I met up with them not too long ago. And you remember Toval the Bracer, right? He and Celine are with me too. <clears throat> Hello again, you two. Yo, long time no speak. <laughs> Thank you, Fee. If you're gonna pinch someone to check, pinch yourself. <sighs> Come on, stop messing around. <laughs> you two are the same as ever. A anyway, we're really happy that you're all right. You're in that windmill now, right? Is there any way we can meet up? Yeah, you get your ass over here and we meet that up. That was what we were planning on discussing with you, actually. We'd like to come over to you. Do you have a safe place in mind that we could use as a meeting point? How about point D in front of the Twin Dragons Bridge? It's not visible from the surrounding area, so the Provincial Army shouldn't notice us if we meet there. 
Point D was the one on the outer edge of East Celtic Highway, right? All right, that should be fine. We'll head over there right away. Okay, we'll head out too. Well, see you later. Point D. Fee, honey, could you please be wearing something a little more flat, a little more modest? You're 15, you shouldn't be dressing like that. Oh, oh thank goodness, Reen's okay. Seriously, that, that, you are 15. Thank you so much, Adios. Button the jacket. I wonder that he's with Toval, though. I get Celine being there, but why a bracer? We'll just have to ask once we see them. But the most important part is, he's okay. Feels like we're finally making some real progress. Yeah, agreed. Anyway, let's get going. I can't wait to see Rain again. Same here. <sighs> Fee? What's wrong? Go on ahead. I'll catch up. At the very least, put on a longer undershirt. There's something I need to check first. I don't like you wearing short shorts. to the location. Celtic Highway 3, I think. Oh, I could probably fish here. I'm probably going to put Fee in her casuals because I'm a little uncomfortable with what she's wearing. I, I don't like the sexualization of children. I know she's 15, My but turn. still. Ha! What the hell, people? Get your act it's together. Thank you, Machius. Ready to go. One, two. My turn. There. Ha! Oh my god. Leave this to me. Ah! Here I go. Mock is me. Oh my. Maybe we all need glasses. There. Ready is to just go. Just are things more dodgy. Or is that just RNG kicking so, my ass? That's it for you. Do you have any courts that can help with accuracy? Not gonna even matter, I can't equip anything. I'm gonna try to be better about my courts. Yeah, that's where I need to go, the North Kretzen Highway. There's the Transcontinental Railroad. We're not too far off from Bereahard. Yeah, I hope Eusis is safe. Yeah, so do I. Okay, so not there. It is East Celtic Highway 3 I need to go to. <laughs> Leave me alone! Watch out! It's not leaving me alone. <laughs> Ready to go. Oh, Jesus. We've already seen it. Just, oh, you're still alive. Great. Marcus, activate. 
Yeah! Okay, it's safe for now. That was annoying. But East Celtic Highway 3. I'm not gonna get away from this fight. Hey. Toval. Wrong button. Oh, a treasure chest. Need treasure chest. Mute. Uh, let's take a look at that. Okay, up around the point. This is a large region. This way leads to the bridge, right? Yeah, it's not that far now. I'll let you know when we need to turn. An offshoot usually means treasure, and hello, treasure. And kitty bat. Die, kitty bat. A septium mass, which is great selling fodder. Nice. Okay, take a left here. Keep left. I guess this is our point D then. This could get tricky. Look sharp. A boss enemy. Watch out. This is a tough one. Single advantage. Here goes. So let's go for the override. Yeah. It's my turn. Take. My turn. Burn to ash. Fall. Now's our chance. You're mine. And not us. Have I mentioned Overdrive is really overpowered and I really like it? Yeah. Green. Well, speak of one devil. <laughs> I'm not seeing things, am I? It really is you, right? Yep, it really is me. It's great to finally see you again, Elliot. <laughs> I can't believe my eyes. I can't believe you're here. Likewise. Can't help but feel a little bad, though. I'm sorry for how things happened. I didn't mean to worry you so much. No, it's fine. I had faith that you would come back to us one day. That you were out there alive and well someplace, even if we didn't know where that someplace was. This is how shippers are born. Thanks, Elliot. That means a lot to me. <laughs> Welcome back to the team, Rain. Oh yeah, what happened to Fee? I thought you were with her. I was, but right before we took off to meet with you guys, she seemed to notice something and told me she'd catch up later. I'm sure she won't be long. I'm back. Didn't take long at all. Ha! 
Could you please wear please? something a little more flattering? <laughs> Oops. Yeah, that was on purpose. A little dramatic, don't you think? Ow, ow, ow. I'm not sure that was such a good idea, Fee. It kind of spoiled the reunion if you broke a bone or something. Or me, for that matter. <sighs> What's wrong? Don't tell me you really did hurt yourself. Nope, I'm good. It just sunk in that it's really you. <laughs> Who else would it be? I'm happy to see you're okay. <laughs> thanks for coming back to us, Reen. <laughs> and thanks for giving me a place to come back to. <laughs> well, that's all of us, together again. <laughs> Can't help but crack a smile when watching them, can you? I don't know if I've ever seen anyone so happy to see their friends again. I should hope so. It wasn't easy making it happen. Well, that's one region down, only two regions to go to hunt down for the rest of the Class 7. Must be feeling pretty good about that, Rain. You bet. It couldn't, it wouldn't have been possible without your help either. It does sound that way from what I've, from what you've said. So on behalf of all of us, thank you for everything you've done for Reen. You too, Celine. What are you thanking me for? I didn't do anything. That's not true at all. You're the one who took Reen away from Trista. You're the reason the rest of us could stand up and fight without worrying about him. If not for that, I doubt we'd be together like this now. I'd say you did more than enough to deserve thanking. So, thanks. Elliot's right. You have some room for thanks, too. Though, so thanks from me, too. Excuse me. I swear, you guys are the worst at making a huge deal at absolutely nothing. <laughs> However it happened, you're all here now. So where to next, guys? Well, if it's not painfully obvious enough, wherever Reen goes, we go. No matter how dangerous the situation may be, we'll overcome it as a team. What Machia said, we still have to find everyone else. And rescue Princess Alphen and Elise from the Alliance on top of that. Yeah, that's not open to negotiation. That means your help means a lot to me. Should we get back to Valimar then? We'll be able to use him to return to Ymir as soon as his mana is recovered. That's one option. I was expecting that we'd have to be away for a while longer. So we're going to need a base of operations at some point. I don't think it's the option we should choose though. As opposed to what? Got something else in mind? I do. While returning to your mirror is a valid choice, why not keep going and try to get to Gorelia Fortress? I didn't even think of that. That's not a bad idea. We were trying to get into contact with the armored division ourselves before you came. Still, the Twin Dragon Bridge is one of the Alliance's most important strongholds. Trying to pass through there is going to be risky. Oh, I know, but it's a risk worth taking. It could allow us to find out what the situation is in the Imperial Army and how Instructor Nightheart is doing. And above all, it should give us a better idea of how the war is developing. Knowing that should help us better decide what path we should take as a class. Makes sense. <sighs> yeah. All right, I'm in, let's do it. Yep, let's get on with it. Indeed, we need a permit to get by it through any means. Yeah, but they're definitely on the lookout for us. Even with our, without our uniforms on, there's still a fair chance we might get caught. So we've got little choice then. 
What's that? I found a route that might get us unnoticed earlier. There's still a chance we might get caught, but I think it's worth a try. We just need to head down to the bridge. We shouldn't have any problems unless we try to pass through the checkpoint. And I'm gonna guess B and Elliot have joined the party. Good. Reen and Elliot can now use overdrive when linked with each other, and I'm sure Reen and Fee can too. Okay. Yeah. I know how this works. And I can switch them out in battle too. A burst link attack. Well, nice to see this is just right out there, right, ready for me, and... Huh. Everyone's here who I want. Equip. Costumes. Fees Casuals 1. I personally think that looks better, but Fees Casuals 2. You know what? That. But it doesn't work with the jack with the hat. As well as the Casuals 1 do. So, you're not going to wear your kitty ears. How about an angel set? Not bad. Devil set. Doesn't really fit. How about striped kitty set? Yeah. Bunny ears. Elise is my bunny girl, so no. How about the fairy set? That does not fit you at all. Meh. Evil Mishy, meh. A monocle? Butterfly glass. That's not a bad mask. Nose glass. Oh god. Actually, that's a good look for her. Yeah, let's go with it. Now, what are your casuals again? Oh yeah, you look a look. Actually, he looks kind of dapper. How about casuals too? That actually looks. Very casual. That's not a bad look. Right along, Tio. Oh, God. Renee. Okay, you know what? Let's just not do with the run ride alongs. Anniversary Mishi, oh god. Estelle. I'm sure that's a reference to Trails of the Sky. As is Joshua, I'm sure. And I'm pretty sure Renee is too. I can't think of anything else that would fit, but. That looks better than something that obviously seems like you're trying to hide. <laughs> I'm so happy we're together again. More people's always a good thing. <laughs> you guys have no idea. Let's hang a left here. Just keep following the highway. You can't miss it. Skip the monsters then. Okay. The Twin Dragon's Bridge. Two soul dots, four soul dots, or three anyway. I'm sure there's a fourth one. I've never actually been to the Dragon Bridge. Well, it's about as heavily guarded as you'd expect from a major military base. It's technically made up of two giant bridges going from east to west, but it's the defensive power is really something. The Noble Alliance has every reason to 
love showing it off when they what with it being one of the most important strongholds and with the war going on security is going to be even tighter than usual it isn't going to be easy to cross the highways on the other side blockade there okay use the tracks You know, so long as nobody just happens to look over. Seriously, Rain's Unspeakable actually looks kind of cool. Not gonna lie. I really like the cross. Those look good. Let's go with that. Okay. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. Oh my god! No, no, no. You have some basic healing items. But I'm all a bit out of money. Okay. I couldn't help but notice that you seem to be in need of some assistance. Huh? And who might you be? Oh, no one out of the ordinary. Just another merchant forced to waste away here. Not with that I've distinctive been watching you voice. surreptitiously snoop around, you see. And I have a feeling you would welcome a stranger's helping hand. Surreptitiously? I don't, know what, I don't know what that means. Alexa, what does surreptitiously mean? Surreptitiously is usually defined as in a surreptitious manner. Yeah, that told me exactly what I needed to hear. Thanks, you worthless fucking machine. That's why, out of the kindness of my heart, I've decided to lend you just that. Only if you like, of course. Nobody does anything out of the kindness of their hearts. Or is that just me? Uh, um... Sorry, but we're a little tied up at the moment. Mind finding someone else to buy whatever it is you're selling? My, my. Batting away my generosity, are we? You're so cold. Who are you? Perhaps we should take a moment to have Class 7 weigh in on the matter, rather than you, Bracer. What? How do you know who we are? Who are you? <laughs> an excellent question from an inquiring mind. 
Let us set a little wager then. I'll tell you exactly who I am. If you can catch me. Fee, tackle him. Hey! Get back here! There's no one here. And it's a dead end. You're joking. Don't tell me he just up and vanished into smoke. I sincerely doubt that. Wait, He's hiding in the barrels. I feel a breeze around here. Air vent. Looks like he went through here. It's a ventilation shaft. No wonder. Could it lead to where I think it does? We won't know until we go through it. I'm curious where that guy went too, so let's go for it. You, maybe you ought to check the, behind the barrels or even in the barrels first. Just, just saying. in here too bad if you were a cat you'd have good night vision like me but I'm totally fine and I'm not a cat you're a little catty though you think that guy even came in here beats me he's not someone you see every day for sure understatement of the century Oh, that was one narrow duct. Wait, isn't this... It's the Transcontinental Railroad's tracks. Thought so. Guess we don't need to worry about how to get on them anymore. I yeah, sure, but what happened to that hooded man? My guess is he ran off in another direction. I can't see him anywhere. I wonder where he went. I can't sense him nearby either. Oh. It does bother me that he seemed to know who we are, but I think we're better off forgetting about him for now. We need to focus on crossing to the other side of the bridge. Agreed. He was suspicious, but I didn't get the feeling we were enemies. Now, at least. You don't think this was some elaborate way of helping us out, do you? Maybe. I think that's being a little too optimistic. I think for you to get past this blockade is beneficial to him we still got what in we some way in let's follow these tracks and get inside the fortress yeah and they shouldn't be able to spot us from up on the bridge either you guys ready to go shouldn't being the key word please don't let them spot us so far so good Shay, shut up seriously maybe keep quiet I'll handle it Right. Does Elliot still use his... Yes, he still uses an Orwell stave. Right, let's move. Could he be RMP, maybe? <laughs> Well, there they go. That no. I'm afraid that's as much help as I can give. The rest is up to you. Is that Gideon I'm offering up a prayer to the goddess for your success? That that can't be Gideon. Gideon's dead. Wait, no, that was one of the teachers. I recognized his vo I recognized his hair and glasses. That was one of the teachers. Tomas, or Thomas, he was the in, bit of the eccentric guy. Panzers. The soldats are ready for deployment. Yeah, clearly they just left. The time has come for us to put an end to these pesky tactics. Listen up, Duke Alborea has personally ordered us to clear up the 4th Armored Division as soon as possible. We'll even get some extra assistance this time too. Be sure to slaughter every last one of those treasonous bastards. Sir! 
Well, I already do not like this guy. Look how many soldats they had ready to go. This is far worse than we anticipated. Yeah, they even had them deployed over Trista, too. That just goes to show that things are only going to get fiercer between them and the Imperial Army. I hope Dad's okay. I wouldn't worry too much about him. I mean, Craig... It's Craig the Red we're talking about. Seems like the 4th Division's fought some of the bunch... Fought off a bunch of the times. Like, you get what I'm trying to say. That explains why they're so desperate to finish them off. We probably shouldn't be hanging around here. Thank you, Celine. True. We should head down those line, right, Fee? Yeah. It branches off further down the line, so we could get off there. Let's get moving. We're through. Take a right to get to the by road. Yeah. Okay, go through that gate. Yeah, I kind of figured that out. Thanks. We got by. Someone certainly knows their stuff. Bracer. We finally made it past the Twin Dragons Bridge. <sighs> oh my god, I've been going over an hour. Or not quite an hour, I should say. Didn't even realize. Got a little carried away with this one. Sorry. Here are these two. Zephyr. I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Trails of Cold Steel as we continue down this road to get to Gorelia Fortress. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.